Hey everybody, it's Darian. Thanks for watching this. Um, as we go into our hard conversation series here on my Instagram, I kind of wanted to give you a little precursor on how to make a hard conversation happen because most of us have a hard time making normal conversations, much less a hard conversation. So maybe somebody needs to have a hard conversation with you or maybe you're the one that wants to initiate that kind of conversation with somebody else. So I want to present to you four tips that I have uh, that have helped me in understanding how to start a hard conversation and move through that awkwardness and stand uh, on God's words. So we will go through these points together, okay? Point number one is you got to find somebody to start a conversation with. Now, you don't initially go to have this conversation and you just <laughs> right off the bat say, oh, I believe this and you believe this, you're wrong. That's not a way to start a conversation. You need to start a relationship with somebody and I'm not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of relationship. I'm talking about establishing trust with somebody to find somebody to get to know them, get to know kind of what they're like, their character first before you have this hard conversation. Build a relationship with that person and establish trust. Okay, so point number two is start a conversation. You're gonna have to initiate some hard conversations in life and whether it's about something that is going on in their life that they're struggling with, maybe they have a problem with the church or they have a problem with addiction or mental illness, those are going to be some hard conversations to start. But in order to have these conversations, you got to find a place to start. You have to gather your courage and just do it, <laughs> as Shia LaBeouf says. So you got to start a conversation, whether it's something they're going through or whether it's something that they believe that is contradictory to your belief. I mean, if you believe that somebody, by not believing in Jesus, is going to hell, you'd be a fool not to tell them. You'd be the worst person in the world. So ask the necessary questions and ask them a few questions about their religion or their situation. Seek to understand, not to automatically accept what they're saying. The third point that I have for you is stand on God's word and Jesus. Stand on what you know about God. If you need to know more, find the answers in the word. There's awesome resources online. There's people like me that you can ask these hard questions to before you have to ask another person. Use those tools. Use me. Use whoever you are close to that is a godly influence who truly knows the word of God and ask them those hard questions first. Don't compromise in what these people are telling you if they say something that you know is wrong and just say, oh, yeah, I, sure, that, that's, that's, your, that's your truth. Don't, don't compromise with this. Trust God and trust your relationship with God. Don't shy back when having to stand on God's word and do the correction portion. But always make sure you have an established relationship with that person. Establish trust, start the conversation, and go from there. And the last point I have is probably the hardest part, the wait. It's the follow-up or the letting them go process. So once you have this hard conversation, once you get out what the Lord is telling you to say, don't get in a conversation that the Holy Spirit is not leading you to do. That is what I'm saying here. I'm not being the Holy Spirit for you saying you have to start these conversations. No, you should want to start these conversations. I'm pushing you in the right direction. But the follow-up is very important. If they're listening to what you're saying and it's kind of making sense and they want to know more, follow up with them. Disciple the curious, but let go the people that are disregarding you as, oh, you're being so ignorant. Give it time. Give the Lord a chance. You said what you needed to say and just leave it to the Lord. Not everybody's going to take what you say well. Let them go and let the Lord deal with them. That's my tips for you. I hope you got something out of it.